there. Hello, cougars. Welcome back to this week's video. We were just a little busy practicing for the upcoming dodgeball tournament the week of the 24th. Yeah. Dodgeball. A very civil game with very uncivilized origins. Dodgeball derived from a game from more than 200 years ago. Some even believe it to date back all the way to 500 BC. The game was in fact played with rocks rather than the rubber balls we use today. The game was used by warriors to develop strengths and endurance. The objective most of the time, if not all the time, was to decapitate the other opponent. Hence, it was a game played to the death. Yikes. However, with the advancements we have made throughout history, we have discovered a new way to play the game without killing one another in the Clash Royale known as Dodgeball. I must say, the history might be interesting and all, but you know what's even better? Ladies and gentlemen, get yourselves ready because it is time to play ball. Coming at you faster than the Lockhead SR-71 Blackbird, sooner than your teacher will release the grade to that test you've been oh so worried about. I present to you the HMBHS Dodgeball Team. Oh, let's go, that's close! Gather your friends and foe alike because you will need to create teams of five to compete. The tournament will start January 24th, 2022, Monday next week, and it will occur during lunchtime inside the gym. If you'd like to participate, just sign up using the Google form that was sent out by Mr. Jones. If you have any questions, just email me at 66124 at cabrio.k12.ca.us. And lastly, but certainly not least, for a grand prize, a drum roll, please. Boom! We will be awarding first place not one, not two, not three, but yet five JBL speakers. One for each person on the team. So, without further ado, I hope to see you at the tournament. Because if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. I'm here with Madeline, and what is the first thing you did this morning, Madeline? Oh, this morning, I... <laughs> I let my dog out of his cage. Good stuff. We're here with Taj, and Taj, what is the first thing you did this morning? First thing I did this morning was take a shower. Nice, hygiene. Yeah. I'm here with Evan, and what is the first thing you did when you woke up? Um, I put my socks on, I brushed my teeth, uh, and I ate breakfast. Nice, thank you. I'm here with B, and what is the first thing you did when you woke up? Um, I opened my computer. Nice, thank you. <laughs> Here with Andrew Peters, and what is the first thing you did when you woke up this morning? Um, I woke up and put these clothes on. Nice. <laughs> with Miss B, what is the first thing you did when you woke up this morning? Um, lay there in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Aiden, and Aiden, what was the first thing you did this morning when you woke up? Um, I woke up at five. I uh, took my G Fuel, hopped on Fortnite, and I kept the family friendly. Here's a sneak peek of what Friday's game against Terra Nova is gonna look like. The girls' games at 6 and the guys' games at 7.30. We interrupt this news to give a big birthday shout out to our co-president. His birthday is coming up. Uh, happy birthday from leadership. Why are you guys running? What's going on? We're running to formal. Yes, we're so, so excited. It's gonna be February 5th right here in the quad. Get ready, Cougars. Cougars, Valentine's Day is coming up. Get and Valentine's Day means Valentine's Week. Get ready for the Valentine's Day Spirit Week, the week of the February 14th. 